My friends at Zygu are up to it again. We need to do a firmware upgrade on the X6200. Let's zoom in here. We want to go into system and we want to go to system info. And this is our current version. Let's go get it upgraded. Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. We're gonna do the 6200 firmware upgrade together. I'm gonna to guess that it is very similar to the 6100 firmware upgrade process. If you got your radio from my friends over at Radiodity and enjoyed the discount that is in the description down below, that is also the fantastic place to go to get the firmware upgrade. Let's go to radiodity.com and we're gonna click the support link in the upper right hand corner. And we're going to choose Zygu from the list of supported radios. From there, we're going to scroll down to X6200, and there's your firmware. You guys know how to save files on your computer. Make sure you remember what folder you stuck this file in, because that's going to be important coming up next. Now that you have the file downloaded, you need to extract the contents of the zip file. Mac OS makes this really easy by just double-clicking on the file and done. In Windows, you'll need to right click and say extract a folder that will also take care of getting this done for you. The reason why is because there's a bunch of other files in here besides just the SD card image that we need. That SD card image is what we need for Belina Etcher. Belina Etcher is a wonderful program. I use it all the time. Next up, take your SD card. The image file from Zygu is only one gigabyte, so anything bigger than one gigabyte should get the job done, and it's gonna be really hard to buy one that's smaller than 32. This one happens to be 64. There will be links in the description down below for all of the stuff you need to do this video, including an SD card. However, if you have one already, go ahead and use that because you only need to do this this one time. And then again, for every future firmware update that they do. But in between time, you can use this SD card for something else. Once you have the SD card inserted, launch Belina Etcher, choose Flash From File, and pick that SD card image that we just extracted. Next up, you wanna choose Select Target, and I'm going to choose the 64 gig SD card that I put into place. Etcher makes it really hard for you to overwrite your local operating system drive, which is fantastic in my book. Make sure that you have a one-for-one -one match. If you inserted a 32 gig SD card, choose the 32 gig one. I did a 64, I'm choosing the 64. Select one, and then hit Flash. My machine asks me to enter in my administrator password in order to make it happen. And away we go. For this step, I highly recommend that you plug into external power. After you do that, the next thing you need to do is take that SD card that we just burnt and put that in the SD card slot on the side of the radio here. It only goes in one way and that appears to be upside down. And then we wanna turn the radio on and you're gonna see a blinking cursor in the top corner and it's gonna start doing Linuxy things. And eventually you will see a progress indicator. And then when that's done, the radio will turn itself off. At that point, remove the SD card and turn it back on. Once the radio is fully booted, go into the system menu and choose firmware upgrade. And there will be a firmware upgrade file there. Press upgrade. And then it says done at the top. And I would have expected the radio to reboot itself, but it did not do that. So I'm gonna reboot it on my own. Well, folks, there is the firmware upgrade on the Zygu X6200. That is how it's done. Be sure to check on that website frequently and often for firmware updates. Only update if you know you need an update because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And there was a little tiny bit of trouble while I was doing the install. The secondary part to upgrade the SDR controller inside of the radio didn't take a couple of times. I just kept trying again until it got it done and it was frustrating but painless. Let's put it that way. There is a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.